Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, so today we are going to see what is the need of ADC and DAC. What do you mean by ADC and the DAC? ADC is nothing but analog to digital converters and DAC is digital to analog converters. In the modern world of electronics, there are two types of signal. One is the analog signal and one is the digital signal. So in some applications, we might require the analog data and in some applications, we will might require the digital data. So whenever we require the analog data, but what will happen if we have the data in the form of digital? That time, if we need to convert the analog data to the digital data, we use ADC. And whenever we require to convert the digital data to the analog data, we require the ADC. So let's see what is the need of the ADC and the DAC. The first need is very important. To connect one form of signal with the other circuit capable of processing the other type of data, it becomes very difficult. So where we require ADC to DAC converters as well as both the converter are needed as per the application. Now the second most important need is the transducer. We all know that now the world is depend on the sensors and the transducer. So transducer is nothing but which converts the one form of electrical energy into the another form. Therefore in the transducer sometimes the input might be a analog signal but it is not always necessary the output will be analog signal the output might be a di digital signal so that's why to convert a analog signal into a digital signal in the transducer also we can use a analog to digital converter so there are various type of analog to digital converters that we are going to use in the next videos now let's see the importance of the DAC. DAC is the digital to analog converter. We all know that in the modern communication, the all data is processed in the form of the digital signals that is zero and ones. But whatever the input we are giving that is from the mobile phone, it is the analog input. Voice is the analog input. But for processing, we require the data in the digital form. So that time while processing, sometimes we need to convert a digital data into the analog form. So that time DAC can be used to convert a digital form of data into the analog form. So this is known as the DAC converters. Now there are also like various type of DAC converters. The DAC converters are also known as the decoding devices and the ADC converters are also known as the encoding devices. So ADC and DAC are nothing but the opposite of the each other. They perform the vice versa application. Therefore, in the world of today's communication and in the world of today's electronics, the ADC and the DAC converters plays a very important role in each and every application. In the further videos, we are going to see what are the various types of ADC and the DAC. So stay tuned with Ikeda channel. Thank you friends for watching today's video. We are going to see the more and more videos related to ADC and DAC in the next videos. Thank you.